Hello, how are y'all doing today? My name's Aaron. In this video, I'm gonna show y'all how to mold and cast a figure from start to finish. We're gonna to mold today. It's this little pink toxic guy. This was actually created by one of my artist buddies. He illustrated it and I sculpted it from his design, but I'm gonna tag his name in the bottom to make sure y'all follow him and check out his stuff. But we're gonna create a silicone mold, which is something like this. That way, Instead of sculpting this multiple times, you can actually create this in resin as many times as you want. All right. Next, we're going to talk supplies. This is just going to be the supplies for the molding portion, not the casting portion. But obviously, you need what you're molding. You need something flat to actually glue whatever you're pouring your liquid silicone into. We're going to use a cup. So it'll be like this box cutter because we're going to cut the top of this off. Hot glue gun. Gloves. Something to stir with. You can use whatever you want to to stir with. Popsicle sticks. But I'll use a wooden dowel because the silicone is super thick. So this is actually a lot easier to stir with than just a flimsy popsicle stick. And then you need something to mix in. I use these because they have the measurements on it, so it's easier to get your half and half mixture. I'll explain that later. But this is from the company I get materials from, Smooth On, but you can get these at Walmart or Lowe's, or wherever, they're in the paint department because they have a lot of different functions. All right, first off, before we get started, people are gonna give you a lot of techniques and tips, or they might try to keep all their tips themselves. But if you're doing something and it's working for you, then it's working for you. Someone watches this video and they say that I'm doing something wrong. It works for me, so it works for me. All right, let's get started on this. All right, your first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the cup and using your box cutter, you're gonna cut the top off. So you can see straight through it. All right, and the next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna take your figure and you're going to glue the bottom of it to the board. I always try to center it the best I can. Okay, now you're going to take that cup. What you're going to do is you're going to glue it around the base. And even if you just use way too much glue, it's better to use too much glue than halfway through your pour, you realize that you have a leak and silicone's going all over your table. Because it's really hard to try to get a hole patched up while your silicone is still liquidy. Now he's all glued in. This is the silicone that I use. They sell it in way smaller sizes. This is the gallon size. If you make a lot of molds, it is worth it to buy it in this size. But this is an equal parts A to B silicone. So we'll take that container that we had earlier. And the real reason I use these is because of the measurement that's on here. You know that you're getting equal parts. Say so just fill to 12, then do your math, go to 24. Just all the way up. Now you're going to stir this until it's one uniform color. Scraping the bottoms, scraping the sides. Make sure there's no white left. Not exactly sure what happened in the fall of me pouring him. So I got this quick mold made real quick so you could see the actual process. But when you're doing this, you never want to pour directly on what you're molding. You kind of want to pour to the side and just let it all pull up from right there. You kind of want to go high. You just stay in the same spot and let it fill up on its own. Thank you. 
All right, now that your silicone is cured, it'll be firm to the touch. We're gonna get this out of this cup, just using a box cutter or X-Acto knife, whatever you have on hand. Just be super careful. All right, and using the X-Acto knife, we're gonna take the original sculpt out. And always when you do this, you don't wanna go in a complete straight line. You kinda of wanna do a zigzag. And there's your original, and there's your silicone mold. All right, next we're on to casting. So we're going to talk about supplies. You're going to need cups. You need something to stir with. You're going to need rubber bands to actually close this mold. You need your resin. I use Smoothcast 326. It's an equal parts A and B resin. It's an hour long cure, so it gives you a little bit more working time. And then also, we're going to try to get a nice pink color. So I'm going to show y'all a little bit about pigmenting resin because this resin is actually clear. Yeah. Right. First step we're going to do is we're going to close this mold up. Using rubber bands, don't get them too tight because it'll distort the shape of the mold itself. But you want to line up this seam as best as possible because you're going to see it in your finished product if it's crooked. We're going to take our cups. Like I said, this is equal parts A and B. You can use a scale, but if you buy these cups with the lines that are already on them, you can just use those lines as your reference point. to get equal parts of the A and the B. And when you're adding your pigment, always add it to the B side, which on this is gonna be more clear than it is yellow. I'm gonna put a little bit of white And then also some of this red to try to get Pepto pink kind of color. And you 
want to make sure to stir all this together. Because if you have powder left in your mixture, it'll actually show up. It'll be on the sides of the cast. And when you got this part mixed, you're going to add part B and part A together. And stir this very well. And when pouring in your mold, it's always it best to pour at an angle, at least I've figured out. And tap it to pop to help pop some of the surface bubbles. And also, it's always good to keep an extra mold around. That way, when you have excess resin mixed, you can go ahead and pour it in also. have more so I have a third mold all right ready to demold and if you're wondering this is what we poured the excess into some mold of this guy and there you have it